painting 1730. I'm going to talk about the format going forward, my activism, my as an artist, my paintings, where I'm going with this. We're going to talk a little finance today. I'm going to talk about Fukushima. But first and foremost, I'm going to do some more finance videos. Get back is exactly four years ago right now. The markets were melting down, went under 9,500, and I'm doing videos every day. Saying double down, double down in my old classroom, double down, do everything. Look, this is an art form. These are visual paintings, and if you want to be a patron to the art, then be one. You know, and it's just like I am the museum. I, I physically represent. You don't want to be the museum? I am the museum. My paintings have been viewed, people can say whatever they want, by 99.9999999999% of all artists, my, my paintings have already been viewed. I'm the museum. You want to be the artist? I'm the freaking artist. I'm the museum. I'm the freaking finance guy. I'm the activist in the street. I'm the guy saving survival of leukemia. That's me. Me, I physically represent my art. Period. That's who I am. That's what post-ignorance is. So, you can be a patron to the art because I am the museum. You know, build a contingency, you know, remember Vincent never sold a painting. My paintings are for sale, of course. You know, this is the museum. Look, it's been accurate art, it's been intense art, it's been information art, it's been post-ignorance to a fine science, to incredibly fine-tuned science. Cassandra's son, I mean, you think about it. I Look at my F Fukushima videos. The accuracy is staggered. It's impossible, by the way. You think about my finance videos. Right here, right here. Silver, when it was 47. You gotta realize the whole world was going gun cold crazy silver. Watch the video. Get out. Triple leverage down, which I physically represent I did. To the day. Now, this is impossible. You call silver at the top and gold at the top to the day. 1900, to the day. Everybody's doubling down, betting me all over. Well, of course, they reneged on their bets. Four years ago right now, double down. Market went up 100% just in four years. I'm, look, by the, not in just, oh, broad context in a broad term. You know, no, 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 no. In accurate detail, telling you how to use the derivative market. By the Apple calls. The stock was 280, by the 480s. Within six months, there was a 600. They were $30 piece, they went to 12,000. And I want better people to very much, if you don't think this matters, I want people to understand this. See that scar? Yeah, I fell off a roof in 2005, broke my back. I was in an ICU, very, very critical. See that scar? 2006, those are brass knuckles across my face, tore my jaw, hematoma on the front of my brain by a freak that was robbing a little old lady. I caught him and he sucker punched me. I mean, my insurance was gone. I had no insurance. That's why I was getting the misdiagnosis, getting the horrible care. I threw down my stock portfolio. He says, here, Vincent knew my path. He knew my financial brain. Look, I'm right here, sell gold, buy Tesla, buy, I, all summer, that thing, 12, 13, 14, buy Tesla, buy Tesla, buy Tesla. Told you to get out 280. I'm in Denmark. Told you, what, a month ago. Not even a month ago. Get out, get out, get out. Here's the video, right? These are to a fine science, to an incredible accurate teeth. And you cannot support, you cannot be a patron of the art. Because finance is an art. Visual, look, you still want to paint on canvas and hope that these oligarchs who have up just right here, right here is one of the greatest art endowments in the world. The art school that I got kicked out of. Billion dollar art endowment. Just hand it to their friends. Oh, their little club. I mean, when I protest at the moment, we know it's a club. And these are not my words. The curator at the Getty, the curator, he mean, he burned his MoMA press card. I'm, you know, look, you can't be a patron. These are for sale. They're numbered. You know, this is painting 1730. I am the museum. I physically represent what I am. Now, Fukushima, let's think about that. You, you, I mean, you just take it for granted that I was the only guy on earth calling this what it was in a very accurate detail every day. You could pull back because that's what people do on the truth. Ask Vincent. Ask Andy Warhol his birthday yesterday. Ask him. You think anybody bought those soup cans? You know what they're worth? You know what, Vincent, you put his work together right now. Do you know what? So he couldn't sell. He never sold one painting. He tried and tried and tried. You took his paintings and sold them would be the GDP of several countries. I mean, it's amazing. So, 
here's my site, the patron, you know, can't donate a few dollars. You know, and you people that made, I made lots of millionaires and they know it. I've had people come to me, Kevin, I bought this 14, you know me, blah, blah, blah. you can't send me, uh, you know, I mean the, the typical amount is 20% of profits, please. You can't even send 1%. That's all right because that's part karma. But I think first and foremost, as my art form, post ignorance, has been survival. When I got sick, you watch these videos, it's gonna give you leukemia, it's gonna, I mean, who could predict their own cancer? Who could diagnose their own cancer? Ask Vincent, go in there and ask him. Who could predict it? Go in and freaking LDS, you can go with me. Any of you fucking rats that deny me, call me up. I invited every one of you to go with me to the bone marrow transplant for 1240 days. Megan and Melissa went with me, I invited you every day. Hey, I got my, this is my appointment. You want to go watch me get bone marrow biopsy? Do you want to go through this whole genre? I invited you. You won't go because you're afraid of death, because you're cowards. So, anybody who wants to go, you can still go with me. We'll go in there and have a visit with them. You know, we'll talk and they'll tell you the path. Celeste, head of the LDS bone marrow, says it perfectly. You know, she's retired now. She says, Kevin, I prepared your paperwork when you came in. You were a red tent. She says, your path and your way, a lot of people pull back, even in this hospital, pull back from you. A lot of the case workers, a lot of pull back from you. But she says, I expected to do your paperwork three days later and walk out of here dead. She says, I've never seen a miracle like you walk out of here. She's the biggest miracle, and I've been here 26 years in the number one acute bone marrow transplant center in the world. She says, you should be very proud of yourself. You know, so that's what artists do. We hypothesize for, we make our art. Schiller, Ode to Joy. The path in Austria was amazing, whatever, but you know, you could be a patron. These paintings are for some. That's what they are. And I am the museum. This is the museum. This is the reality. That's what artists do. They call it out in detail. I mean, you go back to 1900 when Schiller and Komet are doing those paintings in Austria. They were calling 1914 out to 10. And I will say this right here, right here, right now. You know I did that video in Denmark, and I've been pro market. And I've made lots of guys. When everybody else is saying, oh, gold's going to the moon, silver's going to the moon, the market. The market's up from 6,000 to 18,000. You keep listening to Glenn Beck. Max Kaiser, episode 496, guaranteed gold's going up when I says it'll go down. I mean, I've been, the Cassandra Act saying you can pull back all you want. You can go into there, it's staggering. It's impossible. It's impossible because the light's shining in me. The light got in me. I don't know how it got in me, but the light got in me, and I've been able to go because that's what great art does. It hypothesized forward accurately. So, is the market's going to melt down? I think everything's going to come down, including your house. I think everything, we're going to get into a deflationary cycle, which we should have. Now, how dramatic it's going to be? I don't know. I got a hunch it could be very dramatic, a house of cards. So I would be out of gold. I'd be out of silver. I'd be out of the market right now for, you know, and no changes are permanent. Don't say, oh, you said this on this day, you know, and because that could change quickly. Who knows? But for right now, as I said in Denmark, get the fuck out, get that. That flash crash was the sign. So you want to be a patron? Be a patron. You know, you got to get my address, phone number. You know, let's want to buy one of my paintings? Then buy the fucking painting and don't insult me. You know, I may be easy, and but I surely am not cheap. Stay in tuned.